is Simon Rojas Bristol Sports, uh, aka General Lin Yes. A lot of people know me. I'm in uh, South America in uh, Ambato, Ecuador, at the factory where we make our uh, Bristol shoes. In this one, we're coming with new models, and I want to show a little bit about how we make our shoes. Now, one of the main features is our custom made uh, wood heel. As you can see, this is wood, tiny wood. And our friend here is repairing the shoes, uh, the heels. Uh, what he does is we have this wood finish and we put a cover with all this with a layer for the mud protection. That's step number one. Okay, we continue with the, our process. Um, this is something uh, shoe halfway, but uh, this is what's going to be one of our uh, renowned weightlifting shoes. As you can see, it's all sewn here, uh, glue, stitch it. We have stitches, uh, but the shoes like that, pretty much like that. This looks like something like a baseball glove, something like that, but this is going to be a shoe. Here we have our friend, Marco Marco. Okay, Marco has uh, been a cobbler shoemaker for 15 years, lots of experience, and we're going to make the shoe. So, as you can see, he uses his hands, scissors, no, no machines here. Well, actually, it's going to be part of the machine, but 90% uh, of the work is uh, done by hand. Applies glue. A little. Strong. It's so strong. that's why yeah. they are working this uh, with this mass. As you can see, sorry, these are not any masks. They are specially, specifically designed masks to work with glue because glue smells really bad. Yeah. And I should have, I should be wearing one myself. Okay. After he, after he applies glue. Yeah. He needs to wait a few minutes. About five minutes. He has to wait about five minutes. He dries a little bit. Then he's going to mount the piece of leather in the mold. And then they'll go to this machine. The glue is a little dry. Now, he, what he's going to do, he's going to mount the glue on the, on the mold. So the thing that looks nothing like a shoe is going to take shape uh, now. So. Now, for Ecuador, for this part of the country, the continent, uh, this type of machinery is considered to be a modern. Um, now, we have two things here. We have plain uh, handwork, uh, just using big hands, big hands, knives, scissors, irons, but also we have some kind of modern technology which will increase the quality of, uh, of the shoes. As you can see, Marco, after mounting, is uh, pounding the shoe to, to give it shape. Now, he goes to this uh, station, to this bench rather, and we go back to the uh, handwork. He's, you can see how good he is at, at what he does. He's an expert. Now, he's, he's got uh, under his belt 15 years of experience in shoemaking. And everybody else has at least 10 years of experience in this factory. So, uh, the few workers here, we could count more than 200 years of experience in shoemaking, which guarantees us that our shoes will have the highest quality. There we go. We have something that resembles a shoe. The next step will be to use this one of these soles here. It'll go 
in this area, then of course this will become the final sow. Yeah. Now keep in mind that for what we want, this is the best type of material. After that, uh, it will be time to work with the, with the heels. And this will become a weightlifting shoe. All right, uh, now we're a little far from the shoe glue, which is good. <laughs> now, what uh, Marco is doing here is a process, he's actually shaving the shoe, okay, uh, streaming it. Uh, he called it cardar, and, uh, and he's gonna, for this part, he's gonna use a machine as well. Uh, where it's gonna make the bottom of the shoe a lot of this is it. You are not are going to be mounted on the shoes, which is one, which is the most difficult part, and it's important that the senior cobbler at the factory has to do it. Uh, a new uh, shoemaker wouldn't wouldn't be given the responsibility. Now, funny thing is, uh, in a place like this, probably in the whole city of Ambato, there are only three or four technicians because that's what these people are. Technicians are qualified to do this work. So Mark is going to apply the heels to the shoes. This is a machine as well that exp exp expedites the drying process. process. Uh, it's a dryer. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, the machine is moving and it's drying. Uh, once again, uh, the good thing about this this, this, uh, this company's uh, factory is we can find modern technology like this machine. Uh, also, this is one of the first drying machines I've seen in many factories. Most factories don't have that. They just need to wait until it dries outside. Now, if it is too hot or it is too humid, it won't come, the shoe will come good and the result will be that the sole will come out, come out the shoe. Now with this uh, machine, uh, again, I find Dual technology, as, as all handmade technology with some machinery to improve the quality of the shoe. ¿La presión que tiene? Sesenta libras. Sesenta libras de presión. Okay, this has a uh, sixty pounds of pressure, and there we go. looks like a well-looking shoe. Uh, this is nice. Heel, good heel. Stitches. Uh, polishing the shoes here. So, the heels are assembled. Uh, he's doing the, the work with the, with the machine.
see every heel has been uh, custom made and it has a, a brand of the maker of the shoe of the heel shoe or the, or the wood heel rather and off again to glue Uh, one of the things, important things, is uh, Ecuador is a, f is a big producer of leather. Um, manufacturers from all over the world come to this area to just to buy leather and bring that leather to their own countries, um, mostly China, uh, Eastern Europe as well. And uh, as uh, I was informed this morning by the manager, the production manager, that uh, very quickly Ecuador is becoming one of the biggest producers of leather in the world. Uh, leather of good quality, that is. This will become the sole, final sole. Rubber, absolutely rubber. No man-made material. And uh, our dear friend Marco, again, is finishing the shoe.